Hey guys, welcome back to Tracy's Place. I am making smashed potatoes for uh, Thanksgiving tomorrow. And Thanksgiving we have every year with my husband's side of the family. And everybody just brings their sides. Everybody brings a dish. So I, we are in charge of the mashed potatoes, but I make them a little different. Um, anyway, the mashed potatoes and the candy yams. So, this is a recipe for the way I do the mashed potatoes. They're not mashed potatoes because they're not all the way mashed smooth. I like to do like a chunky potato. So, it's a chunky smashed potato. And, um, hmm, and these are the ingredients. I have a 10-pound bag of russet potatoes, but just depending on how many you will be feeding determines, you know, how many you get. But... That was just $1.99 at Aldi. I have Lowry seasoning salt, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, and Italian seasoning. Uh, margarine, and of course the potatoes. You can use butter. You're welcome to use butter. I know there are people who prefer butter for health reasons, and that is fine. So uh, use butter, and right now we're going to go ahead and get started peeling the potatoes. And I usually just put them in a plastic bag and um, put some newspaper or something so they won't end up smelling later on in the garbage can. So just peel your potatoes. All right, guys, I have peeled my potatoes, as, as you see. Uh, I have 15 potatoes peeled. And in this bag, I, I can't say peel, you know, 10 large potatoes or 10 small potatoes. They were all different sizes. So these are just 15 potatoes. And as you see, I left a little bit of the skin on and um, that helps with the flavoring and everything. So it's kind of, you know, skin on potatoes, but just a little bit. And the skin has nutrients in it too. So, um, also, I used a peeler, a potato peeler. Some people do it the old-fashioned way with a knife, but this makes it so much easier. So make sure you invest in a potato peeler. They are usually like two dollars or something like that, two or three dollars, I think, at the at the store, Walmart or something like that. So invest in one of those. But this meal it feeds a lot of people. Um, I think there's going to be like 30 people there tomorrow. Not everybody eats mashed potatoes, but, you know, most people do. There's going to be kids there as well as adults. And the way I usually make this, I usually put onions and real garlic in it. But I know not everyone loves that in mashed potatoes. And um, I was asked to make mashed potatoes, but of course I'm putting my spin on it. So I'm not going to take what I usually make for home over there and then people may not just love it like we do. So I'm not going to put garlic, the real garlic and stuff in. I'm going to use the garlic powder and, you know, oh, salt also. I don't have that in here, but I'm going to use some salt. Um, these potatoes were $1.99. I think I stated that earlier. $1.99, you know, four sticks of margarine you can get for a dollar, you know, 99 cents at the store or whatever. And the gravy I just use, I usually use canned gravy, the chicken gravy, but they had this on sale at Aldi. So I said, I'm going to try this. You just add water and it's supposed to be just like the other chicken gravy. So we'll see how that comes out. But um, this is under $6 actually, $1.99 and then a dollar for the butter. So that's what, two, three. And then these, I think, were 69 cents each. So basically 70 cents. So you can get away with making a big um, thing of potatoes for under $6. So that's, it's, you know, it's really good. And potatoes are filling. So that's potatoes and gravy for under $6. So but anyway, the potatoes are peeled. I'm going to rinse them off and then I'm going to get them boiled and I'll be back. Okay, I am over at the sink and I've just rinsed the potatoes off and put them in this like colander. Um, that way the water can drip. This is the same bag that I put the um, the peelings in. So it's a plastic bag and a paper bag. Um, so it's going to catch the little the water that comes off of here because they were rinsed. Um, that way when I get finished with it, I have my garbage bag all here. I just put it in the garbage. So no big mess to clean up. 
But anyway, these are the 15 potatoes. They're all rinsed. Right now, I am just chopping them up and three slices down lengthwise and just chop them up like that. And that's it. Okay, I am putting the potatoes into the boiling water. Um, this is salted boiling water and you want to put them in there really easy because whew, the water is boiling hot and it will burn you so just kind of put them in there easy all right so the 15 potatoes barely fit into the pot but they are boiling now and I'll be back all in right the potatoes are ready they're tender and they have been drained the water has been drained off so I'm going to add milk I didn't have this in the little picture I had earlier but I'm going to add that's about hmm I was and I don't measure I'm sorry I'll put the measurements uh, I, well I've put the measurements at the beginning of the video but um let's say let's see three-fourths cup of milk and I use two percent but like I said you can use whole milk um, fat free I don't know how that would be you may be able to use it I'm not sure you can use um, like the um, is it half and half or you know the, the thicker dairy product uh, so you can use that but I just use like three-fourths cup of milk and this is a stick of margarine actually two sticks of margarine so that's gonna go in like that and I just kind of like to do everything at one time I'm gonna add more butter later though but this is garlic powder so I'm using about, I would say, it's a lot of potatoes, so. So that's about a table. Okay, I found my potato masher. Oh my goodness, I was not happy I couldn't find it, but I finally found it. So I'm going to mash everything up. And remember, not totally mash, but just to leave it in chunks. So what I did, what my camera cut off, so I'm going to go ahead I'm sorry, I'm not go ahead. I'm rushing now. What I did was I finished adding all the ingredients. And I have a list of the ingredients and how much I used at the beginning of the video. And um, when I come back to show you the final product, I'll tell you if I added like extra butter or anything like that. Because a lot of the recipes, I do just eye it. And um, anyway, I'll have it all at the beginning of the video. All right, I'll be back. All right, guys, this is the final product everything done in one pot basically um i will add well as you probably already saw but anyway i'll add all the ingredients and the measurements at the beginning of the video because i did add some more things uh not some more things but one extra thing i ran out of lowry's and so in a pinch i had to substitute and use something else this grill mates sweet and smoky rub oh my goodness my nephew you know put me on to this one of my nephews is a cook and he put me on to this sweet and smoky rub it's for meat and stuff and you, you use it for other stuff but i put it in here it adds just a little bit of sweet smokiness i guess and oh my goodness it set these potatoes off so i'll like i said i'll put the measurements at the beginning um and you know us as i'm a black woman we add a little extra things to our uh, dishes and that's what makes it soul food and it was so funny I saw a, um, a lady uh, it was a Caucasian lady making macaroni and cheese and she said she makes it so good all of her co-workers and her other you know white family and stuff uh, they said this macaroni and cheese tastes so good tastes like a black person's macaroni and cheese but we ask you know just different things to make our dishes soul food so that's something that uh, I just found 
today adding this little extra sweet and smoky rub so try that that is so good it's so 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 good and um i have the gravy over there that i bought uh so and you can't tell that it's not homemade the gravy is good it's chicken gravy so you can just top it i usually put it in here but like i said since i'm making this for other people i put the gravy in a gravy boat and this the potatoes will be separate so that's that. I hope you enjoy making it. If you do, please let me know how it came out. Um, and again, you see they're a little bit chunky. They're not smoothly mashed, um, but they're so good. Anyway, catch you next time, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you back at Tracy's place. Bye-bye.